Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and today we're going to learn how to use two really cool plugins, Looper and Blender. These plugins would allow us to create really cool graphics and textures and backgrounds. And we're going to need to have a Sketch, Sketch app. We're going to also need to have the plugins Blender and Looper. And also as a disclaimer, the stuff that we're going to be learning today it's actually something that you can do really easily on Illustrator with the Blend tool. And last but not least, is that the stuff that we're learning is probably not too useful, but it's super fun. And that's it. Not too useful, but fun. That's it. So you're going to be able to download these plugins on the links that I have added in the description. So just go here and just download it here for Blender on GitHub and Looper has its own website. It even has some, some examples, really cool stuff. Just you download it and that's it. Here's an example of what we're going to be able to do today. So some patterns with rotation and some really cool graphics and even some uh, like background pattern with uh, lots of graphics, and then a blending of two different colors and shapes, uh, blending of lines, blending of multiple shapes and multiple colors and weird stuff like this, really cool stuff. So I have a demo file and you can find a link to this file on the description and you will find all of this, all, all of the different practices that we're going to do today. So I'm going to start with the Looper plugin. Once you have the Looper plugin, you're going to be able to find it here on plugins and then Looper and then Loop and even has a, a keyboard shortcut command L if you want to use that. And so here I have all of these examples. All of these examples have uh, just the, the starting point and then also the end point of, well, the end result of how it looks at the end. So I'm going to start with this one and it's really easy to just go to plugins, Looper, and then here on Looper, you're going to see this UI and it's giving you a preview of how your uh, loop or your pattern, whatever it's, you want to call it, it's looking. So um, you can preview it. And here, as, as you can see, it's already looking really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and change some of the stuff here. Here, the stuff you can change is the duplication count, the scale, move, you can form a grid and rotation and even change the opacity of your elements. So here, the number of copies instead of 50, I'm going to change it to probably 40, just a little bit less. And let's say that the opacity changes. And here the opacity you can say randomly or it increases from uh, zero to 100. Uh, I'm going to keep it in randomly. So you can see that the opacity of these elements are changing uh, randomly. And you can also change the rotation. The rotation by, by default, it just rotates to form a circle, but you can change it manually to uh, different angles. I'm going to keep it a, form a circle and that's it, done, easy as that. And now. We have this, it creates a group. This group has all of these shapes. All of these are independent shapes. As you can see, it just did the rotation and the, the scale and all of that, but all of those shapes are independent from each other so you can move them around. So just be careful because this could create a, a, a massive amount of shapes and it, it could get your uh, sketch file to be a little bit uh, sluggish. So just be aware of that too. Okay, so we have our first one. Now let's do something else, something that looks like a, I don't know, like a shell that, that rotates. And to do this, we're going to have to rotate our piece. So I'm going to, here I have a random shape that I just created. I'm gonna press Command L for the loop. I'm going to move this so I can preview it. And I'm going to say that it manually rotates. And I'm going to also say that it scales, so it grows. And see, now it, it, I can preview how it's, it's growing. Uh, it's pretty cool. So instead of five, I'm going to say that it grows by 10 pixels, the, the, the expansion of it. Uh, and then also let's, let's preview outer rotate, so to form a circle, and then manually rotate, you can set the angle. So instead of four, you can say that it's nine degrees, and then it creates something different. Um, anyway, just play around with this. Instead of 50 copies, I can say 80 copies, so now it, create, it will create more copies, that's all. <laughs> and that's it. Look at that, pretty cool. The difference with this shape is that this one actually has a fill. So this star has a white fill and that will also create a different effect. So let's uh, preview, th this is how it's going to look. Let's actually create it over here. I'm going to move it a little bit further away from the other stuff. And I'm going to go to plugins, looper, loop. And then it's almost the same as before, scale, la la la. 
you're starting to see what's going on. And then I'm going to say that the opacity, actually it goes from 100% to 0%. That way it creates like a fading out effect. And I'm going to say that it increases, the increment is by probably nine pixels. Let's, uh, yeah, nine pixels. Nine pixels is cool, you can say eight, 10. Uh, just be aware that every time you change one digit, it previews it, so it takes a little bit of time every time you make a change here. So there you go. I wish there was like a preview turning on and off on the plugin. That will be an, a nice addition. That way I don't have to wait for me to change all my settings every time. And there you go. Now it looks, it looks pretty similar to this. I've, I've been doing like one shape only, but you can also do groups of shapes. So for example, this is a group and it's just random shapes, a line, a square, and a circle. And I just go to plugins, looper, and let's, let's set these options. Look, <laughs> it's so cool, right? It just creates a really cool random shape that you can use. I don't know where or how. You will find a place to use this, I'm pretty sure. There you go, 90, and then you can update the opacity so probably it goes from 100 to zero. It just creates this really cool, like, I don't know, vortex and where you it feels like you're falling. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Something that I think is actually really useful is to create patterns in your website. So for example, like a, like a background that has a colorful pa uh, uh, background with, with a pattern. So for example, here I have different icons and all these are different colors and looks really fun. And I want to create a pattern of it. So I could duplicate this and I can rotate it manually and all that. But here it just like makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go to plugins, I'm going to go to looper, loop. And here I'm going to actually say that it forms a grid. So here you're starting to see what's going on. It's starting to form a grid. And I'm going to say that the margin is 100 pixels because the size of my element is 100 pixels. So I'm going to say here that it's going to be 100 on the margin on the horizontal. And then I'm going to say here also 100 on the margin vertical. And I'm also going to say that, and also the number of columns, that's the number of, of how many repetitions you want. So instead of four, I'm going to say that eights on horizontal. And it's starting to look great. Some things are overlapping there. I could probably change it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. I'm going to do something. I'm going to manually rotate this. And instead of four pixels, four pixels, I'm going to say that it rotates 90 degrees. That way it rotates 90 degrees. And now it creates a really nice pattern, right? Really cool. Okay, I'm done. Another really cool thing that you can do is combine different colors and then create this abstract shape here. So let's do this. I'm going to actually delete this and I'm going to just play around. This, this is an, again, this is a group uh, with just shapes with different strokes and different colors. I'm going to go to plugins, looper, loop, and I'm going to rotate and scale. Let's see, that in increments by 10 pixels. So it's a little bit more separated from each other. And I'm going to say that it goes all the way to 80 copies. And now I created this really, I don't know, psychedelic pattern that is growing and it's colorful and looks like I'm on LSD. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, so that's Looper. That's a Looper plugin. You can get it for free. And now let's look at Blender. This is another plugin and it can create really cool stuff because on this one is not restricted to one group or to one shape. Here you can actually combine two shapes or multiple shapes and then just gradually create different colors in between and the shapes and the size, all of that. So for example here, I have, this is the result of combining these two shapes. So let's actually just select it. This is actually really easy because here on, you go to plugins and then you just go to blender and blender. And that's it, you just select the number of copies you want to put in between. So I'm going to say that it goes all the way to 20 and look at that. Oh my God, it's so nice, right? It's so smooth. And it, again, it's the same as with Looper. All of these shapes are independent. You can move them around. So just be careful. Again, it can make your sketch file to be a little bit slow. So be careful. Here, you can do the same also with paths, with outlines. So I'm going to pretty much the same as before. I'm going to go to Run Blender again. I'm going to say 10, 10 steps. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. I, I really love this. I really love this effect. Another cool thing that you can do with this is that you can actually combine multiple shapes at the same time. So here to get this effect that I have here, you can just select, put multiple circles, multiple shapes, select them, plugins, run Blender again, and then you just select how many uh, repetitions in between those. And I'm going to say that, I don't know, 15, 
Press OK. Ah, oh, man, look at that. So smooth, right? Really cool stuff, really cool. Another really cool trick to do is that you can combine also the shapes of these elements if you use squares or rectangles. So for example, these two circles, they look like circles, but they're actually squares with the corner radius all the way up. So since the corner radius is all the way up, they look like circles, but they're actually squares. And since all of these are squares, then it can also combine the shape, not just the color and the size. So here, these are actually the color that has transparency. It has a 47% of transparency. This is 47% of transparency. So I can just combine them and create this really smooth effect. So I'm going to go and run Blender again. I'm going to say all the way to 30, 30. Let's see how, oh my God, look at how smooth is that? Look at how smooth is that? Really cool stuff. So that's it, really cool plugins. You can create really nice and, I don't know, weird graphics with, with it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment and just share your graphics. Share the stuff that you have done. Put a link to an image or something. That's it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.